There are now 26 million mobile phones being used in Australia and the debate about the possible dangers of using a mobile continues to build. Now some cancer survivors are calling for governments to take the drastic step of banning all mobile phone use for children under 16 and for the rest of us to text instead of call. Laura Sparks has this exclusive report. My tumour was uh, just here, hence um, there's a scar there. Tumours in the left frontal lobe, um, which was basically around there. It was like there. Um, about that big, just here. You start at the ear and go straight into your brain, and that's your auditory nerve, and it, it grows around that. They share a bond. They have the same scars, the same dreaded X-rays. Reminders of where their brain tumours once were. They're from different suburbs, cities and social circles. Yet they all got tumours near their ear. And they all blame the same thing. I'd use my phone about two hours a day. The area that it was, was here and... I mean, you put two and two together. I believe it's a... Um... A lot of heavy mobile phone use. I just hope it's in my lifetime that um, phone companies are held accountable um, for this damage. Emily Sefton had the most to lose. She was diagnosed with a brain tumour when her son Jesse, now two, was just 11 weeks old. I was just devastated. I just remember dropping my son off to my mother-in-law and I just thought, you know, am I, am I going to see him again? The International Agency for Research on Cancer recently declared mobile phones as a possible cause of cancer. I feel vindicated in some respect. This latest admission doesn't surprise former mobile phone salesman David Smith. He first spoke to Today Tonight three years ago. So David, the tumour was just here, is that right, behind your ear? That's right, behind my right ear. Lately, there's been conflicting reports about mobile phone use. Some saying they do pose a risk, others saying there's no problem at all. But in the fine print of the World Health Organization's latest report, it states that heavy users of mobile phones, now that's people that use mobile phones for half an hour a day for more than 10 years, triple their risk of getting a brain tumour. I just would hate for people watching this right now in 10 years time to go far out, why didn't I take note? Why didn't I listen? I honestly believe that I'm in this position right now with this tumour because I've overused my phone. Last year, we filmed Anna Tarrant's tumour removal. Seven months on, she suffers from fatigue, short-term memory loss, migraines, and like the others, has the ever-present threat that the tumour will grow back. Christian Giorgio had his tumour cut out nine months ago. What worries do you have? That it's, it's going to become an, another epidemic. There were others who couldn't make our filming. Aaron Rose suffered a seizure that night. Truy Bottoms had chemotherapy that day. And then there's former television producer Romaine Udale. And well, yeah. it's, it's a new club, which unfortunately I'm part of. She had to go into surgery the day before we filmed because the tumour, taken out seven months ago, had already started to grow back. If someone had told me that years ago, I would have welcomed that in information and not abused the mobile. Having emerged from round two of brain surgery, Romain, now an executive coach, is keen to get the message out. OK, I'm going to time myself today. How many minutes have I been on the mobile phone? With no cure available for brain tumours, neurosurgeon Charlie Teo is worried about the possible link. We're seeing the increase in frequency of tumours in the insular region, which is this region right here, the temporal lobe, the frontal lobe. So it's right there where you hold your phone. Another neurosurgeon, Richard Bittar, advises to text or only use a mobile on speakerphone. And he has this warning for parents. It's a pretty big gamble to let a child use a mobile phone at this point in time. And it's this message that these four brain tumour sufferers want to lobby government about. I just want parents to be more aware of 
radiation and the possible effects it can have on their child's brain. For any child under 16, they should only be able to text unless they're calling triple zero or their parents. I mean, don't taste, take the risks with mobile phones. We don't know what they're doing yet. I would have definitely lessened my mobile phone usage if I could have turned back the clock.